Hey guys, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soap. And if I can get this light right, we'll be all right. All right, today I am doing a remake of my black cedar wood and juniper. I absolutely adore this scent. I love it, love it, love it. I had to look up actually how I did it, and I want to do it the same way as I did it last time. I am doing half and half milk, meaning not whole milk, but half my water and all the lye, and then the rest in coconut milk and uh, coconut milk and cream. So I'm going to get that my milk in first and get that buzzed up. That way I don't accelerate my trays trying to mix in all these liquids. So there's that. And the button on my stick blender is going out, so I got to do it on low. The high works if you push real hard. I'm just going to do it on low because it's too hard to push the high button. Thankfully, I've got another stick blender coming. I knew this one was going to go out on me. Alright, that looks good and mixed. Now, I'm going to add my lye and also my fragrance. But I'm going to rinse this out so I have something to rinse my stick blender off with. While that's filling up, I'll go ahead and get my fragrance in there. It is anchored in tapioca starch. Some people anchor their scents in Kalem clay. I choose to anchor them in tapioca starch. Alright, so let's get this mixed up. Oh my gosh, guys, this smells so good. This is one of my favorite fragrances. That looks good and emulsified. I do need to weigh some of these out though. I'm going to have a bottom layer of blue. So I need uh, more blue than I need anything else. Quit, bud. What is it? Mm -hmm. Change that over to... There we go. <laughs> Driving, you're moving my table, son. And I'm so proud of my son. He got first place in Accelerated Reader. Reading fast. And it's not just reading fast. It's Accelerated Reader. I'm super excited for him. And last it makes year, me really happy and proud of him. Last year he got in third place. And I'm in third. And I'm going to get a trophy here soon. No, first place up. Third place. Last year he did get third place, but this year he got first place. First, first, first grade I got third place. Okay, so there is my colors. This is going to be white. I got 90. And I want to try something that one of my followers suggested that I do. She suggested that I whisk in my colors. Instead of using my stick blender, I'm still going to use my stick blender, but I am going to try whisking them in. So there's my white, and I know my white needs to be mixed in. So, whoa. Alright, that's mixed. I'm going to start with my biggest color, which is going to be my blue. Trying to get all this color out as I can. You can hear my kids fussing in the background. It's a normal day in my house. 
All right, so let's whisk this in and see how that does. So far, so good. I've never thought about using my balloon whisk to whisk my colors in. Cool, that works pretty good. All right, there's my blue. Making a mess with it. Next, I'd say my purple. And those look about even, so. Let's go ahead and get all of that in there. And I am going to do an in the pot swirl today. But before I do the in the pot swirl, I'm going to do a layer of blue on the bottom. So it can be thickening up. So I'm going to go ahead and stick blend it. I'm just going to set that to the side. Give it a stick blend. It's on low, so it's going to stick blend kind of slow. Lord, I'm making a mess. All right, let me get my mold. All right, guys, I had to get on my kids there for a second. They wasn't being very quiet. So first, I'm going to lay my blue down, which is my foundation. So I'm going to do about a pound in the bottom. That looks about good. Give that a tap and set it to the side. Hopefully that will be setting up as I do the rest of my colors. So next is the purple. Wow, this whisk really gets it in there. The only thing I don't like about having to whisk it in is I gotta do the colors and some oil beforehand. I'm just so used to scooping out the color and throwing it in there and blending it up. Like, but making the colors beforehand isn't too bad, I guess. I'm just lazy. I like to do things as I go. And my black, so the colors were work. All right, um, I like to do, um, the colors we're doing today is purple, blue, black, and white. And I wanna have a blue base, and then the rest of the blue and the purple and the black is gonna be an in the pot swirl with my white. So there's all my black, and I hope I got enough in there. I don't want it gray, but I want it real black. That looks excellent. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a stick blend just to make sure it's good and blended. This smells so amazing, you guys. Okay, that's my black. I love the way this soap turned out the first time I did it so I'm definitely excited about doing it again so let me knock down all the white that's around here and I mix it up a little bit all right and with my purple first and I'm gonna do it with my left hand so you can see what I'm doing I'm gonna pour from high up I'm gonna go there in there in there and then whatever's left leave that for the top now in with my black and I want to go my black right beside my purple so there and there and there and leave the rest for the top now for the blue and I wanted to go in the corners I didn't pour anything in with my blue go there In there all right leave the rest for the top so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go around once or twice there's once twice all right I don't want to mix it up too much now let me get my mold it's not set up a lot but hopefully I can get this poured without breaking through so let me get this up here can you guys see yeah you can see Alright, so I'm going to lay my spatula down. I'm going to kind of 
pour over my spatula. Try to go easy. This is going to look so pretty, you guys. I loved how it turned out the first time I done it. I didn't get too many views, which this I did this soap when I first started making YouTube videos. So there wasn't too many views on it, but I guarantee you guys are just going to love the way this soap looks. All right, cover your ears. Get a paper towel, go down my edges here. This is going to look so pretty. Alright, so I'm just going to splatter some color everywhere. And I want my purple to be on top. So I'm going to start with the blue. There's my blue. Now for my black. There's my black, now for my blue. I really, I'm not blue, but purple. I really like the purple up against the black. I think it looks really pretty. Looks so pretty. I thought about piping this. But I thought, no, I kind of want to keep it the same. The same like I had it the first time I'd done it. I absolutely loved it the first time I'd done it. So I know I'm going to love it this time. I did it the exact same way. And this is one of my all-time favorite scents to work with. It's lovely and candles. And it's absolutely a dream to work with in soaps. It doesn't accelerate. It doesn't rice. So now I'll just swirl the top. Oh, that is gorgeous. And I'm not going to put any glitter on it because I want this to be like a unisex kind of soap. So let me show you, look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it and it is going to turn out amazing. Alright guys, so that was Black Cedar Wood and Juniper. So stay tuned for the cut everybody. Guys, Crystal here and we are here to cut our Black uh, Cedar Wood and Juniper. That's what it looks like from the side. And look how pretty the top is with all the swirls. It's been sitting on my counter for a day or so, so it's super duper hard. I've been excited to cut into this one. I absolutely adore this fragrance that I used. It's one of my favorites to use um, in candles. 
and is also one of my favorites to use in soaps. So let's see what this looks like here. Not much on that side. Well, that's a little different. We did a, a in the pot swirl with um, the black and the purple and the blue. Looks like I went a little bit too far down on this side. It's supposed to be blue down here on the bottom, but it looks like as I was pouring it in, it went down a little bit too far, but it goes up as it goes further down the loaf. Kind of looks like a, when you put your finger inside of a water and it ripples and it's got those pretty colors to it, that's kind of what it looks like. That's what it reminds me of anyway. Yeah, it reminds me of the ripples of water. It smells really good. I know that. It smells awesome. And they're good and hard. There we go. There's more of the blue on the bottom. That's pretty. I like that side. So as we get further down, it is doing actually what I meant for it to do, which is have the blue on the bottom and just the ripple of the um, in the pot swirl on the top. Last piece. Alright guys, so that was the making and cutting of my black cedar wood and juniper. Uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And of course, comment. Love it when you guys comment. Um, I have another soap, my butterfly soap that I did. And I'm going to take it out of the mold uh, and get it cut up. But um, I'm going to let it sit out on the table for a little while. But alright guys, until next time, bye bye.